Hey everyone, it's Michelle Jones from the Edmonton Regional Learning Consortium. I know that there's lots of teachers out there that are wondering how to access the, the ADLC's resources. And the very first thing um, that you need is uh, you need to have your school um, designate a super user and then that super user uh, enrolls all of the teachers into the into the ADLC partnership. So if you uh, are a super user, this is the, the video for you. So the very first thing that you do is you go to the Alberta Distance Learning website and you can go to resources for teachers and this is where you want to go, how to upload groups to access ADLC course content. So if your school does not have a super user, um, meaning if your school doesn't have distance learning students, you probably don't have a super user. So the first step is to create a super user account. So super users are most often the principal or the person that's in charge of all the distance learning programs. Um, or it's the person, a teacher, who, who might be a lead teacher or a teacher that's expected to, to be in the school for um, a longer period of time. And, and that person then can um, manage the, the team and who's going, who uh, needs access to the, the resources. So you're going to have to, you're going to have to open the super user request form. But before you do, there's some things that you're going to need to know. So the Google form that we would click on is going to ask you for the following information. You need to have your Alberta school and division codes. Now, um, if you're in your school, it's probably you probably are aware of what those codes are. I didn't know what the Alberta school and division codes were. So I just actually um, Googled Alberta school and division codes and I found a link on the Alberta Education website that uh, showed me the codes. So that could be something that you, you do if you don't know how to access those codes. You're going to have to have handy the school address, um, your info as the super user, and then you're, there's going to be, um, you're going to have to know what roles uh, you're going to play. So are you a principal or a superintendent? Um, are you the distance education facilitator? Are, the, are you the ADLC exam supervisor? Are you just pure and simple the super user? Um, are you a finance user? Uh, so if you are, let's say you're just the super user and you're not any of those other people, then you would need to fill out their information um, at the bottom of the form. So you're going to need, at the end of the day, you're going to need everybody's information who is playing each of those roles. So before you go to fill out the form, that's something that you want to have in place first. So if you want to pause the video and find all that stuff and then start the video up once you've got it, um, that's great. Um, for those of you that want to continue on, we're, we're just going to jump in here. So please complete the super user request form uh, and your super user account will be set up as soon as possible for you to gain access to the teaching resources and the bulk upload feature. So there is a person or a team at ADLC that are um, that are granting approval to your request. So the sooner you get this done the better um, and then just wait for the email that says Congratulations, you're, uh, you are now a member, and that email will provide you with the um, user inf your, your username and a uh, initial password. Anyway, so we're going to go back to completing the super user request form. Okay, so it should take you to a screen screen like this. Super user request. The super user has the authority to enroll students in ADLC 
see sections, manage student enrollments, charge to their school account, create and modify sections, and add other users such as teachers and coaches. This form is used to update existing super user information or simply add new users. If your school or division is new to ADLC, please start with the new school registration form. So if your school has never applied for a membership to the ADLC, you're going to click here. If, however, you already have an account and you're just updating who you are, then you can go finish um, filling out this stuff here. But uh, I am going to uh, fill this out for the video. Okay, so new partner school registration. So like I said, you're going to enter in your school division name. You've got that Alberta school and division code. Um, what grades your school has. So if you teach at a grade seven to nine school, you would put seven to nine. Mailing, the, so this is your school's mailing address, your contact information as, a, as the super user. And this is where you uh, fill out those roles that, that you're playing. And for any roles that you're not filling out, you have to fill this stuff out. So that's the, that's the principal information, the distance education coordinator, the ADLC, ADLC exam supervisor, um, and then the super user in the student information system, the SIS. And then you would just add your name and who, who the finance person is, and you record that you're not a robot, or click that you're not a robot and you press submit and then after that all you're doing is waiting for that email that uh, gives you your username and your initial password so good luck and uh, we'll be uploading another video shortly on how to enroll your teachers thanks for watching